Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to flush out earwax. Now, let's talk for a second about earwax. Earwax, which we call cerumen, C E R U. <laughs> M-E-N, in medicine, that's right, I can spell on the fly, uh, is actually protective for the ear. It keeps bacteria out of the external ear, even bugs and things that might try and crawl in there. So it's really important to have earwax in the ear, and it's actually more of a problem not to have enough, usually, than to have too much. Earwax is formed in the outer part of the external auditory canal here. It's not formed down by the eardrum. Sometimes, occasionally, earwax can block up the external auditory canal and cause pain, discomfort, or hearing loss. You can use fluid to get it out, but I would urge you not to actually flush it out at home. Because if you drive fluid into the ear and there's a hole in the eardrum, you can cause a very bad infection here in the middle ear. It is, however, safe to instill a little bit of fluid against the earwax to try and get it out. There are over-the-counter medications like Debrox or Docusate that you can put in there. You can make up a home mixture of white vinegar, which is acetic acid and alcohol at a one-to-one -one combination. Or you can use clean mineral oil or baby oil in the ear. You don't want to use a vegetable oil because it can sit in there and go rancid. Now, when you bring a child to the doctor, to get ear, or bring yourself for that matter, to get earwax out, the doctor is going to do a couple of things. First of all, the doctor is going to have an otoscope, which allows him or her to really assess the status of the inside of the ear. Sometimes the problem isn't wax at all, or sometimes you can really see how bad a wax impaction there is. Additionally, we may be able to see that the eardrum is intact, which might make it safe to flush. Now, we might use a syringe or a special machine to flush out the ear. And when we do, we want to make sure that the water that we're using, or whatever solution we're using, is the same temperature as the human body. Cold or warm water in the ear can actually cause dizziness through its effect on the nerves here, where you actually do your hearing and have your balance function at the inner ear. So. Bottom line, if you're worried about earwax, you can instill some over-the-counter homemade solution to soften the wax, but don't flush it out forcefully. Let a doctor get a look in the ear and see what's really going on and make sure that it's safe. Talking about flushing out earwax, I'm Dr. David Hill.